What's up gaming heroes and welcome back to another awesome World of Warcraft video. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at crafting orders in World of Warcraft. I've had so many questions about how the crafting orders work in World of Warcraft. And in this video, I want to just go over exactly how you can use them and then potentially how you can make gold from them. And then also how you can get the materials for those crafting orders orders so i really really hope this video helps you if it does hit that like button and click subscribe if you want to check out some of my awesome guides on patreon.com slash erosium tv i actually have a ton of guides on there at the moment we've got uh, a bunch of new routes for every single zone for mining herbalism and skinning all the little uh, the little tricks and, and best places to farm that stuff so you can import those routes for yourself we have tsm groups on the way and we even have a couple of gold farms as well that you can use for dragonflight so check out my patreon Patreon, it's well worth your time. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Okie dokie, so here I am on one of my alts, and I'm just at the tailing area in Valdraken. I'm now at the crafting orders area and at this crafting orders area This is where you will basically come when you want gear to be crafted for you that you can't potentially craft now Blizzard introduced this system here because they wanted to give people who don't have professions or don't even like professions the opportunity to still get pieces of equipment from professions that they don't necessarily have This is a wonderful wonderful system. That's very very useful to everyone on a whole so let me just explain a little bit about how it works. You basically would select a piece of equipment that you would want. In this instance, I'm just going to look at rings because I like rings. I think they're cool. So let's go to armor, go down to miscellaneous, go down to finger, which is basically ring, and then click on search. This will give you all of the options for crafting orders that can be put onto the auction house. So let's have a look. We have a 306 item level ring here, a 333 item level ring. Uh, 382 item level ring which has a special use visit a place you have long since forgotten or you can get this last one right here which is uh, 382 again uh, just a random stat pretty similar to the other one to be honest so I'm just going to click on the signet of titanic insight just here okay and this will get come up with some basic tips and tricks for how to basically use it this is really good at blizzard to put these in but if you don't know how I will explain everything else all right, so this point, this is where you can effectively go through and you can select all of the goods that you've got. These are all mandatory. You have to supply these crafting goods in order for this item to get crafted. There's no option here. You need to supply these. These are optional. These ones on the right side, they're all optional. You don't need to supply any of these. These will just slightly customize this item to uh, give you unique benefits. So say you want a specific secondary stat, then you can change it here. You could put something, uh, you buy these misses from the auction house. I bought one for versatility and crit. I can't remember where it is. Uh, yeah, here it is. I bought this one, Draconic Missive of Quick Blade. I bought this earlier on my warrior. I put that in and then I left these two blank and it basically gave me an item which had crit and versatility, which was really good for my warrior. The Primal Chaos, this is just, you get this region from playing the game, literally doing world quests, doing dungeons, whatever it is you're doing at a high end, you can basically do this. Honestly, world quests is probably one of the best ways to get this. I've got a bunch of Primal Chaos from that and doing dungeons. I've had loads of Primal Chaos from doing dungeons as well. The rest of these items are actually buyable from the auction house, which is exactly what I would suggest you do. Shimmering Clasp, this says uh, you can get jewelry crafters to make this if you want to, or you can just buy it straight from the auction house. Whatever's going to save you the most time ultimately. So in this instance, I would wait until I have a spark of ingenuity, which I'm going to explain in a second, and a primal chaos. Primal chaos is really interesting in itself. So let's just explain the spark of ingenuity because you need one of these and you, you can only get one per week at the moment. So I'm going to press map to show you exactly where you will need to go. See this right here, this little quest, this is where you will need to go. You need to complete this quest in order for you to actually get your spark of ingenuity. So let's do that now. Here's a little bonus tip. Whenever you're flying, just fly straight up. Wherever you want to go, fly straight up because it's going to save you so much time and effort with flying in general. If you fly straight up, you can always save your vigor and, and regenerate your vigor a lot easier than if you go straight. Help Grazik power up the mysterious device. Okay, let's do that. Let's jump on here. So we're literally just flying at the moment. And now we've got to shoot 
electric at the machine just here until it eventually gives us the ability to interact with it. There you go, all done. Lovely jubbly. Hey, and now we can interact with it. It's gonna give us a quest. Jump start. Find the first challenge of tier in Azure Span. It should be pretty easy. So, so now we need to head to Azure Span. This should be quite easy. A lot of people struggle with flying, but I have the, the best tips for this. Genuinely, I really do. This is the best tip that I can give. Fly straight up and keep pressing space. Just keep pressing the space bar. Genuinely, it's the best tip I can give you is just keep pressing the space bar, get really, really high up. And then when you're really high up, you just point down to where you want to go. Now, the reason you want to do this is because you will regenerate your vigor as you are going like this. Whereas if you're going in a straight line, you would not have any regenerating vigor. And here we go. Let's do it. In tier footsteps. Complete the first challenge of tier in Azure Span. So you're going to need to do some sort of challenge every week in order to do this. Here we go. Do -do, do -do. Okay, so literally, we just got to go through the enchanted rings when they spawn. There we go. Should be quite easy, right? Hopefully. Lol. And then we literally, quite literally, just go through these rings. There's one. Next one. Shouldn't be too hard. Lovely. Next one's here. Lovely jubbly. Next area. Can we get there quick enough? Probably not. But we can get the second one, right? <laughs> there you go. Next one. Lovely jubbly. I'm just using the mouse mostly for that. Easy peasy. So you get bottled essence, fuel the engine of innovation, which is exactly what you needed to do. You can complete that quest. Lovely jubbly. Now let's return back to Valdraken. Oh, we even get a portal. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. Yay. Here we go. We're back at Valdraken now. And we can start the engine of ingenuity. Use the bottled essence to empower the engine of innovation. Okay. Here we go. Yay, it's working. So in your bags now, you'll find a spark of ingenuity, which is exactly what we wanted. Boom, we did it. Good job, team. Okay, so now you've got your spark of ingenuity. You can then take that to the crafting orders and make yourself a piece of equipment. This is the best way to get like the top pieces of equipment in the game right now. So it's really advisable to complete that little quest line that we did. Okay, so now, say we were to go back to that ring now, we get miscellaneous, finger, and you click search, you'll see that we've got this ring here. Brilliant. We've got now that spark of ingenuity. So now all I need to do is go out into the world, complete world quests, or complete dungeons, whatever it is we need to do, we will actually get Primal Chaos really, really easily. So make sure you do that as much as possible, and uh, you'll be winner, winner, chicken dinner on that. Boom. Now, once you've done that, and you've got all the materials you need. You'd buy these materials from the auction house. And then you would very simply say if you want it to be a guild order, if you want it to be a personal order, and you would basically decide on what quality you want it to be. If it's a public order, you don't decide on the quality because it's public at the end of the day. They're just doing the best they can. And you would say, hi, craft this for erosium, please. And then... Basically, so I want to craft it. You'd give a commission. I like to give a healthy 100 to 200 gold because, you know, that's that's a nice thing to do. So I give a nice healthy bonus of 200 gold for crafting for, for them doing that. And then you place your order. That order will then go onto the auction house and someone will complete it. My tip for that is I usually write in slash two slash trade chat and I, I write crafting order on the auction house right now for a two uh, for a three eight two ring and then someone usually whispers you straight away saying completed it and it will be sent to your mailbox as a result of that it's really really useful it only costs you a couple of hundred gold and you know whatever these materials cost in the auction house as well really really good little tip slash trick there guys now remember every single week it's worth checking the engine of innovation just so that you can get your new spark of ingenuity this will really really help you just complete the best crafting orders possible as you are going to want to gear up your character in, in the best way possible right that makes sense so i would highly suggest doing that before i go i completely forgot to mention to you uh to access crafting orders to actually craft you very simply just need to open up your profession and go to the bottom where it says crafting orders and then you can very simply just search when you want to craft stuff so in this instance I'm just going to press search and then anything here I can actually craft providing I actually know it so as long as I know the actual 
recipe, I can craft anything here on the auction house. And then these are the commissions that you can get for just literally pressing craft. How amazing is that? Get yourself crafting, make yourself some uh, some awesome stuff and save yourself tons of time. I really, really hope this video helped you in some way, shape or form. If it did, hit the like button. And if I missed anything, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I will make sure to cover it again in the future. Thanks so much for watching. This is Erosium. Out.